Alright, welcome back YouTubers to the Anonymous Miner channel, and today I'm going to go over how to mine Ergo and Zill in Windows Operating System. And it might be actually easier than you think. So, first off, I'm going to start off on shardpool.io, and this is actually a Zillica mining pool. Um, so we here at Shardpool have built you a high-performance Zillica mining pool with dual mining features and Zillica staking services. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit here, and it describes how to actually set up an ETH and Zill miner, or it says to dual mine Zillica a non-ETH coin. So right here you can download this ETH or Zill switcher. I'm sorry. So if I'm going to open this in a new link right now. Okay, and I actually had it open already. Let me close that. And we're going to scroll down a little bit, and it says there's a download link right here. And it starts describing this um, Zilli, Zillica switcher miner. And so Zillica has developed a new way of mining compared to regular methods. We all know of proof of work is every two to three hours. That's right, every two to three hours. In that proof of work time, your miner is only mined for one minute. So we're talking very minimal losses. So this is why we're doing it you can collect another coin and you only have to mine for literally a minute at a time uh, I do have a video where it's switching back and forth uh, I will play it at the end and Zillica miner is already has a function to allow dual mining for Zillica dual mining is a mining and own coin so we're talking about mining all these other coins with it so this program here is actually going to switch for you so it will open one miner and open another. So I'm going to start the download here. I'm going to open this link in a new tab. We're going to come over here to the Mega Download site. And I'm going to get the newest version here. I am going to do a standard download to my desktop. And that's going to start downloading. Okay. So I now have this on my desktop. Right here. Let me get here. There it is. I'm going to extract all to my desktop. I now have it right here. And I can actually already run this program. And I need to allow it. So now it's going to tell me right off the bat I need to choose one of these miners from the top. So for this uh, demonstration today, I'm going to use NB miner. And to get NB miner now, I'm actually going to come over to ethermine.org. This is actually Ravenpool, but ethermine.org, okay? The reason I'm doing this is because I want to get a legitimate download link, and I trust ethermine.org. I trust their link that they've chosen. So another thing, um, if I go to ethermine, right, and I can click Start Mining right here, and I scroll down, it won't actually show me and B minor. It has B minor, but I'm looking for N B minor. So I do need Phoenix. That's one thing I do know I need. So I'm going to click on that, and we're going to download this real quick. Um, I know there's a lot of issues with Phoenix and etc., but it was a lot of uh, hoo-ha, if you ask me. And so I'm actually still going to download this. We're going to put this on my desktop as well. Um, if you don't have an NVIDIA card, you could actually use Team Red Miner for both miners. You don't need to download two. For this setup today, though, uh, I'm going to download both miners. So that one's downloading. Uh, I'm going to close that. And now look at this again. This is what I was talking about. So Phoenix Miner is shown here, and B Miner is shown here. If I come up here and I click on Raven, and I click Start Mining, and I scroll down now, look, Phoenix Miner is gone. G minor now shows up and NB minor. I need NB minor. There's NB minor. We're going to download that. NB minor. Okay. I have Windows right here. We're going to put that on the desktop as well. And now I've got all my downloads started. Okay. So I was going to finish the downloading and then come back, but I wanted to show something. So it actually says Phoenix minor is dangerous and that Brave has blocked it and it will not actually let me download it. Um, I can come in here and try to resume and it won't let me there's no option for that there's just learn more and discard if I go to show all um, we can keep this dangerous file so we're gonna keep it okay there we go 
and now I have all of these files downloaded. This is still um, the Zill switcher. I'm going to close that, close that, and let me bring uh, NB Miner and Phoenix Miner onto the screen. So first thing we need to do is extract these. So I'm going to extract all onto the desktop. Okay, that's extracted, and we're going to extract all onto the desktop. Okay, that's extracted, and then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put them all in one folder. Um, the reason for that is so that they can see each other. Um, I'll explain that in a minute. So, I'm going to open this, I'm going to open this, I'm going to drag all of these contents into this folder. And then I'm going to drag all of these contents, and I can close this now. I'm going to drag all of these contents into this folder. So now I have my Zill switcher, and I have NB miner loaded into there, right? Because there's nothing left in here. So I can actually down, or, uh, delete these off of my desktop. Delete. And now we're going to empty Phoenix miner into there as well. Just uh, drag and drop to the new folder and then we can delete the Phoenix miner folder okay and I'm gonna rename this my ergo plus zil miner okay and then I'm gonna do one more thing I'm gonna come over here in Windows I'm going to go to virus and threat protection I'm gonna scroll down and we're gonna to go to manage settings right there and I'm gonna go add or remove an exclusion we're going to add an exclusion. I already have some in here. They're for different miners, but I need to add this new one. So ergo plus zil, I'm going to select that, and I've now added an exception. And that what that means is Windows Defender, your antivirus software built into Windows, is going to ignore this folder now. And that's, again, you have to do this to get this miner to work properly. Um, and that's, again, why I wanted to download it from a legitimate link like ethermine.org or somewhere like that um, to get the legitimate files because again you're gonna have to bypass your firewall in some way so back to what we were doing okay so now I've added it to the exclusions um, I have gotten it all downloaded and put it into one folder I've renamed it and now I need to actually edit my bat files to start the miner so the first thing that we're gonna come in here and we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the NB miner file for start ergo I'm gonna go to edit and we're gonna take a look here it's set up to hero miners.com so let's go take a look there and let's see what that looks like control V to paste that in there and it looks like they do have an ergo pool right here let me take a look at that and if I hit start it'll show me the different um, ergo pools here so USA is actually going to be my closest one and if you look here it says HK that's what it was already set up as on the HK one right right there so I'm gonna paste this in there like that so that we're now on the US pool I gotta double check that port make sure it's good port is good okay and now I need to change my address right here the address I am going to get from the URI um, wallet, however you pronounce that. It's part of my extensions here. It's part of the wallet, okay? And I'm going to copy this. And this is in Brave Browser or Chrome. You can download this wallet. I copied that. And I'm going to bring it back into here. We're going to paste it. And then I already did this, so that's why I didn't really change. But I also named it 3060, which is going to matter here in a minute because it is a hash rate limited card. It does slow down after the initial mining progress. But the point of this video is to show how to do it, not that this is the most efficient um, card. So this is done now. Um, this, this part of the miner is set up, the ergo part. We can actually close this and save. Okay, so we're going to double click on the Zill switcher. We're going to open that, and you can choose any of these miners. Again, I'm using NB miner for this one. It's um, a 
one of my preferred miners. It works on NVIDIA cards. If I did have an AMD card I was working with, I would use Team Red Miner here, number 12. But today I'm going to use 11 NB, which is what we downloaded. I'm going to hit enter after hitting 11. It's going to ask me if I have a bat file or an executable file. I have a bat file. And what type of bat file do we have? So we actually have. Uh, where did it go? I renamed it. It's called Start Ergo or Ergo. Aha, Ergo Miner. And this is the file that we made before. So I renamed it Ergo Space Miner. Dot BAT. It is a BAT file. If I hover over it, it shows BAT. Okay, so it's Ergo Miner. Dot BAT. Now it's going to ask me for my ZIL address. I'm going to hit Control V. I already had it copied. And there we go. So it's actually going to open NB Miner. It's going to start mining. Okay. And then this is mining in the background now on NB Miner. And you're going to see this uh, ZIL switcher here on top. In just a minute here, it's going to say that it's checking for um, the pool on Zillica. So we're going to wait here for a second. I do have 103 mega hash. That's something to note here. Um, this is probably going to drop off. This is what I was talking about. This is a hash rated or hash rate limited card. And you see how this is saying the proof of work. The next proof of work is 1784 seconds. So if I were to go 1784 divided by 60 seconds, that means that the next Zillic around is in about 30 minutes. So I'm going to stop recording here in a second and we'll come back around to this. But for now, this is where we're at. I'm at 102 mega hash on uh, NB miner with my 3060. It is dropping a little bit. It'll usually drop down and fluctuate, but for now it's doing pretty good. Alright, so this is just after the switch. It's switched over to uh, Zillica. It is mining. Unfortunately, in this clip, it is not going to get an accepted share because it's only pushing 22 mega hash. But it does have a switch. Um, this is pretty much the end of the video. You guys can um, tune out now. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up, like, subscribe, share the video, please. Um, or thumbs down if you don't like it. But I appreciate anything or any input. And I appreciate all my views. Thank you very much, and have a great time. If you'd like to stick around, it is going to switch back. It automatically closes this Phoenix Miner that it is running now. And we're getting about 22 mega hash. And then it is going to reopen NB Miner, and it's going to start mining Ergo again automatically. And I do drag the window over. In the background here, you can also see that I'm mining Monero at the same time. I'm getting a couple accepted shares in the background. It shows CPU, miner, and net. That is actually the uh, XM rig running in the background and mining. And this is all in Windows. So this is uh, triple coin mining in Windows um, on a 3060 hash rate limited card in a pre-built gaming PC. So. Thank you guys again for tuning in. I really appreciate all of you and have a good one.